In this video, we are going to review the steps for scan to email setup or SMTP scanning on your HP device. There are a number of items you must have. You must have internet access. You must know the IP address of the copier. You must have the EWS login, username and password, if required or your device is locked down. You must know the SMTP server information, so username, password, port, SSL requirements, and the actual host name or IP of the server. So let's get started. Open a web browser, enter the IP address of your copier, select the scan and digital send icon there, select scan and digital send, this is the tab. If this is grayed out or unavailable, please select the login icon here at the top right and enter your username and password. First thing you do, select enable scan to email and then select add. For this video, we are going to configure the Google Apps Relay. However, if you have Exchange or Office 365, you would enter the host name here, maybe even the IP address. Select Next. Port 25 is correct. We're going to set the threshold to 10 megabytes, and SSL is not required. Select Next. The server does not require the authentication, however your server might. So from here, you would enter the username and password if you knew it. So here, here. But again, for this video, we're not going to require that. Select Next. Uncheck these notifications here. We don't need those. Select Next. Select a test scan. This will send an email out to the inbox. And as you can see here, it's successfully sent. So this is important. Make sure you finish the setup. Select Finish. Now the SMTP server is configured. Next, we want to move into the or look at the scan defaults. So uncheck user editable and enter a default address. So for this video, we're going to enter our RMC one. Display name, you can enter HP hallway copier or HP main office, or you don't have to put anything. Subject, user editable, we just leave these as is. Check them. You can have a default scan from HP, let's say attached image as a default subject line. You can leave it however you want. Message you could put do not reply. That could be your default. If you do adjust these or make these permanent, I would uncheck here. That way the user cannot edit them. File name. This will basically generate a file name with the year, date, month, time. Um, each file will be unique for that timestamp. Most commonly used file types is PDF. However, you can select defaults for JPEG, TIFF, XPS. Again, this is the default for every scan job. So auto color detect, that's common. And normally medium and then maybe even 300 DPI. So if you select apply, Scan to email is now configured and set up. Next, you would test on the copier panel. This concludes our video. Thank you.